y'all this is Kathy Crowder's Mountain North Carolina are you ready to make a dragonfly now I had this one done before in orange and teal colors I think some uh, reds was mixed in there and maybe some yellow but anyway I wanted this one to be a little bit different so um, I'll show you the colors as we go along but let me get set up and I'll show you how to draw it out so here we go I'm all set up now but before I get started because I'll forget to show you this if I don't do it right now now I'm not going to show y'all how to do this on video because I I wouldn't know how to even start explaining it but Look at this. I made this for my mailbox. Now, I'm not 100% satisfied with it, but we paint, uh, plant a big mandevilla vine at the mailbox every year. I don't know if I've shown y'all that or not, and it takes over everything. But we've got a big wagon wheel for a mailbox uh, post. And that's going to go right in the middle of it. And for you guys that want to tackle it, um, I had to freehand this bird because I couldn't figure out how to block him off without really thinking hard. <laughs> so I, I just did, I freehanded the bird. But what I did with the circles, now I'm going to tell y'all this right quick and then we're going to get on with our pretty dragonfly. But I found that picture in one of those coloring apps. I can't even remember what one it was. It was on my iPad. And I was looking for another hummingbird pattern. So I found that picture. And, and that's how, why I did his wings the way I did. Um, and then the little circles. What I did. And I don't know if I would recommend y'all doing this or not. But what I did. I put these little removable dots. I painted it. Okay, I drew it out and then I painted it all green. And then after that dried good, I put these little dots and I had these ones too. So this is like, I don't know, one fourth and this is a half, something like that. Or an eighth and a fourth. But anyway, I just put them all on there and I think it would have worked better if I had slowed down and gave it plenty of time to dry, like maybe overnight. But I did, and I waited about an hour, and I come down here with uh, my little hook thing y'all have seen me use, and I just pulled them up. And, of course, some of them smeared, so I had to go back and fix what I could. Well, I fixed them all, but what I did... Let me show you. I used these mechanical pencils. I used the top of that. See that? I used the top of that and dipped it in my paint and used it for like a dabber. Oh, what happened to that? It got real light real quick, didn't it? it just looked like it got, the picture got real bright. But anyway. And for the the end of this, I used these, and they're um, three quarter inch. Now they work better, although I had to go back around and fix them. It was easy to do because I had these little. These, I can't remember what these things are called, but it's got it got a little brush on the end of it. Now this one's already fell off. They don't use. They don't last long. I'll try to find them too because i got to order some more and I'll show you. But uh, I just went around like that fixing where it had smeared and where I had paint bleed underneath the little um, dots. But I think if, 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 if I ever do another one, I think I'll just use these, uh, what do you call them, dabbers, daubers, doohickey things. It's got sponges on the end, and I could just paint it and then 
I could just paint it with this the colors that I wanted in the sections and come along with the green paint and put my little dots where I wanted them. I think that would have been a lot easier than the way I did it. But now I'd probably do the I'd probably do the stickers again. Now make sure you got removable. You know, they have to stay removable. If not, they're going to be stuck on there and you're not going to get them off and they'll, they'll tear up and it'll be a mess. Just just make sure they stay removable. And I don't know if any particular brand is better than the other or not. I happen to like Avery, but that's just what I used when I was working. So, all right. So I just want, I wanted to show you that. And uh, you just, one of them coloring apps is where I found it. And you probably could find different ones too. But I'm going to put it on the mailbox. And then on a future date, I'll show it to you what it looks like. All right, let's get going. I wanted to show you the picture of the one that I did before. Let's see, I used the yellow, orange, and reds, and green, and uh, dark blue. Now, I did this one is a three by three. And so, this one two by two, and I was able to kind of see it better since it was the second one, or maybe the third, fourth one that I've done. But this is the first one I've done in these colors on a two by two. So, I like the way that it filled up the board. See, I ran off into my borders up in here, and I like that. I just think it made it look like the dragonfly popped out more. So, that's the way we're going to draw it. So, you know, usually I, I'll uh, mark off the border, but I'm not going to do that this time. Because I just think that would confuse us more. First thing we need to do is just draw a line diagonally across our board. Does it seem like that? I think y'all can see it. Okay. So we're just going to draw a line across our board, diagonally across our board. From one corner to the next. And that's going to be the basis for our entire project here. Our dragonfly. Alright, so what we need to do now is count down. Like, I'm going to get this around here four inches. Well, let's count over four. I'm putting my four right on the end, and I'm making a tick mark. And then from there, I'm going to count down four inches and make a tick mark. Now, on that tick mark, we want that to be four inches from there. So, yeah, that's right. From here, I just done that one so we could line it up. Like, I guess this is the way. Let's do it this way. All right, so I got my ruler on four right there. Right at it. Well, and four right here, and we're going to go down to eight. So we've got four and eight. And let's do that up here. I'm going to put that on eight so you can see it. Go to four. There's eight and four. 
Now, now we've got another way to line that up and get it straight. Now, you know I'm using paper so that you could see my Sharpie marks, but you won't be doing that on your on your board. All right, so here's four, and we're gonna go down to eight. All right, now all we're gonna do is make a box. And remember, this is your guideline. I guess I could have made that in dots so you could see it. So here is our box for his head. Now we need to come down. I did ever five inches. We're still along this line now. Here's five, and let's just make a mark right here. That's where we're going to go to. And here's ten. And we're going to make four block, four of these uh, diamonds. There's four and eight. So every, nope, five and ten. Sorry. So every five inches along this line, make a tick mark. All right, now we got the five, right? Now let's go back up there. I'm doing this so it don't get confusing. So we've got our five. Let me show you what we're doing. We just drew this block. Now we'll get, we'll do that in a minute. Now we're doing these four, and they're five inches wide, I mean long. Now we're going to go find the middle and draw, I think that was, two inches across. We're going to do two inches across, and then we're just going to, connect our lines and draw these triangles. No, they're diamonds. They're diamonds, they're not triangles. Okay. So how we're gonna do that is we're going to two and a half. See that two and a half mark? And then we're just gonna put the one inch right there. We'll get it straight as we can. And draw a line that way. See? And then all we're going to do is draw our diamonds from one tick mark to the other. See that? Find another one. There's two and a half. Try to get it as straight as I can. If you had a long ruler, you could probably line it up with the edge of your board and you know. But here's the thing make sure those lines are together like that. See, once you get that one done, you just line them up, see? Alright, now let's go. Don't let that mark fool you. There's two and a half. We're going to get as straight as we can. And then we're going to line it up with that one. See? All right. Oh. That's the... I had done the bottom of the... I was like, what in the world? I had done the bottom of it. Look at 
get y'all up there laughing at me. All right, here you go. I got ahead of my brain. There's the two and a half. And we're going to do another two inch. Line it up with that. Line that one up. All right, then we're just going to go finish off that diamond. And there you go. So you just made those diamonds. Now we need to do the same thing for the middle here. Because we're going to... We're going to fill in this outside diamond with another diamond. In the same way with this. Okay, so now we're going to start making the inside. We're going to start making these purple diamonds on the inside. So for this one, you know when you turn it this way, it ends up, it's four inches this way, but when you got it on the diagonal here, on the diagonal line, it's five and a half. So, what we want to do is make a tick mark at one and five. And then we're going to turn it around this way. And it's like five and three quarters. But we're going to put our ruler like right on three. Let's just get it right on three. And over here, well, be like two and three quarters, what it'll be. Put it on two and three quarters. And we're going to make a tick mark at half inch on both sides. See that? So now we're just going to draw that diamond. It's turned sideways so it looks like a. Oop, that didn't work. I got that up too high. But you see that diamond? <laughs> I got it crooked. I'm sorry. Wow, I got crooked up that. But you see what I did? I just drew a box inside that box, but when it's diagonal like that, it looks like diamond. You see what I did. Alright, now on this one, we're going to put a tick mark. We're going to put our roller back down. And it's five inches. And we're going to put a tick mark at one and at four. All the way down. One and at four. What threw me up was I'm putting them beside the line because I've got my roller in the way. You won't be doing that. You'll be smarter than that. Alright, okay. now we got that one and four all the way down. Now see, this is two inches, right? We're going to put it on that one. And we're going to Make a half inch mark here and a half inch here, all the way down. On the half inch mark. That's me tick marks on it by now. It's <laughs> what I'm doing. All right. Now, all we got to do to draw the, di the diamond inside the diamond is just connect all these tick marks. And see that's going to be a different color. Not, you know, I use black and purple on mine.
but you could use green and blue or orange and red, whatever you, or uh, orange and yellow, whatever you want to do. So there's his little skinny body. So now we get to draw the wings. I need this one again. And I'm going to use blue this time. Okay, now I realize that there's a lot of measure in here, but it, it just would not have made any sense to grid that off at all. Um, most of the time you can block them off and they're a lot easier, but sometimes you just can't. So you may have to rewind this a couple of times unless you're... Uh, you know what? Before the end of the video, maybe I can go back and mark the measurements for you. So you won't have to go rewind this all the time. Of course, you know it helps me if y'all watch this all the way through. <laughs> uh, Alright, let me quit talking. Alright, let's put our ruler back over here. We're going to start it at zero up at the top. Well, so, no. All right, let's let's put six right here, cause we want two inches from this corner. We want two inches on that line. We want it to be on that line now. So we've got our two inches. So that's going to be a critical piece right there. All right. From that line, now we want to get it straight. So that's like right in the middle of that box if you was blocking it off, but we not. So try to get the ruler as straight as you can and go out four inches. All right, now let's go back up here, and we're going to draw another four inches. If you have to get your ruler up here to the end of your board, just so you can make sure that ruler's straight, there ain't nothing wrong with that. We just want to make sure we've got four inches. One, two, three, four. All right, see that? We're getting there. Okay, now we're gonna, we're, we're starting to draw the upper wings right here. Look. His top wings, that's what we're gonna draw now. And again, some measuring involved, but we can do it. All right, see at the top, I'm gonna bring it down where I can get to it and you can see it. All right. So let's go from the corner here. Let's start at the corner. And we're going to measure over eight and a half inches. Let me turn it up this way so you can see it. Eight and a half inches. And we're going to, from there, from that mark, now we're going to come down one and a half. Try to find a place to line it up. There's one and a half. Okay. Let me show you what I'm doing. From this mark, camera cut off, so I'm starting that part all over again so you didn't see me do that but I'll show you all right so from this four that's where we're going to start working 
So we're going to go over with our ruler at the top corner on the right, eight and a half inches, and make a tick mark. All right, then we're going to drop down from there, trying to line it up right, and we made a tick mark at one and a half. All right. Now go to the other side, left hand side of your board, and put your roller on the very corner, and go up, go over 10, and make a tick mark, and drop down one. Alright, I made these already so I could, wouldn't confuse y'all when I was drawing them. Okay, we're back to the left hand side again. We're going to do three and a fourth and drop down two and a half. All right, you see that? Okay, let me get my blue one again. So from that corner, we're just gonna connect these dots. We're gonna connect our tick marks. From here, we're going to that one. From this one, we're going to this one. See, these are just uh, tick marks to help us figure out where to put these. All right, and let's do it on the other side as well. So we're going from, from the top, we're going eight and a half. Yep, you see it. And then we're going to go in one and a half. Okay. Then from the bottom, now I'm going to have to move you. From the bottom, can you see that? You can't see that. Here you go. Now, from the bottom right-hand corner of your board, you're going to go up 10. So doing the same thing on this side as we did on the top. You're going to go up 10 and over 1. Now this is from the side now. Go back to the bottom, and we're going to go up three and a fourth, and we're going to go in two and a half. See that? All right, here's the, the lines that we're going to connect with. These were just marks to help us get a roller straight. Now, let me get you all together focused in here so you can see what I'm going to do next. Sorry, y'all. Here you go. All right. I'm going to break out the two and a half inch this time. All right, here comes our wings. You see that line right there? We're going to go down to this one, and we're, this is what I said, this is going to be a critical part for you. That's where all our lines are going to lead into. So we're going to this second one that we did, and draw it into that. We're going to drop down to this one, go back up there, draw it into that. Now you see, you're going to be painting over some of this block, and that's all right. Right. Let's do the other one. It's like a puzzle. Sorry the intro was so long, but I got one more thing I want to show y'all. I hope that you'll listen. I'm listen. <laughs> I hope that you'll watch till the end. 
Because I got, I got something really special to show y'all. That uh, I meant to do it at the start. And I saw I was already in seven minutes. So I thought I better hush. Okay, so now we've got... We've got three of the sections, see? I'll do it this one. We've got this one, this one, and that one, see? Now we're going to do this one. But first, we want this line so we'll know where to connect to, right? All right, so from here, let me measure it. See, I, I'm lining everything up with this, with these lines right here. So if you got them straight, you're gonna be good. So I went down. Well, I got my roller here. All right. Put it on 18 right there, and go down 17 inches here, and, and make a tick mark. The same way with that one. All right. So we're going to draw these lines now. So from here in that corner, and you know I said this is a, this is your critical peak part right there. From that corner. We're going to go down 16 and a half inches, and I wrote it right there, so I, I get it straight for you. And we just come from that corner all the way down to 16 and a half inches. And then we're going to come up, we'll come down from here, nine and a half, and make a tick mark. And that's where that fourth wing, the fourth section of the wing is going to be. Let's do it over here. We came down 16 and a half inches. And then we're going to go back up. Here's the 16 and a half. And we're going to go up to 9 and a half. All right. And then we're just going to connect that box. And there you go. You got all four sections now except for the yeah you got it you got all four sections now see and you could paint them the way you want them I just made sure mine was the same color over here 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 that way if you don't that might get your Dragon bomb might look like it's been bit by a fish. Okay. Now let's draw the bottom part. We got that one already. And let me give you the measurements. We're going to do the same way that we did this. We're going to do these. Hang on. So here we go. I'm going to make this down. I have to make sure my measurements are right before I can start telling y'all. Uh, let's do that in orange. Okay, we're going to use this mark right here. And we're going to go down one. And make a tick mark. Then we're going to go down two and make a tick mark. And we're going down four and make a tick mark. All right, from this tick mark, we're going to go in one and a half. We're going to do the same thing over here now. So we're going to go in one and a half and make a tick mark. From that second one, we're going in two and a half.
So it's down one over one and a half, down two over two and a half, and down four and over four and a half. All right, you see that? Now we're just going to make, yeah. Yeah. Let's start here. Let's start here. We're just going to connect them. That's all we're doing. See that? They don't really look like it. It will when you're when you're painting it, it. It'll look different. It don't look like it's angled much, but it is. Okay, now we're going to draw it into the center. And that tip mark going into the center. From that tip mark, we're going. Oh. Into the center. And from that tip mark. We're going into the center. Now, let me show you how to get the fourth one. The fourth one, go, go up here to the top of that. Because that's that's the first point going to the left, from, from left to right. See that point here? Just go up there. And line it up with that one. And you're going to go down oh, from this one. From there. You're going to go down nine and a half and make a tick mark. So then we're just going to connect that one to that one and back up to this one. See, and now you got it. Now let's do this one. So that way you'll see it twice. We're going from this wing. So let, me, let me get rid of that. That's confusing to me. All right, we are going to go down one, line it up here. We're going down one, we're going down another inch, making it two, and then we're going to go down four. One, two, four. Alright, then we're going from there, we're going in one and a half. From our second tick mark, we're going in two and a half. And our third tick mark, we're going in four and a half. See? And we're going to connect them together. See? From that end, connect it there, there, and there. All right. Let's go back up to this little piece of the wing right there. And we're going down nine and a half from here from here. Make a tick mark. And then that one is gonna connect to that. Alright, this one's going to go up to the center. And all of them are going up to the center of his little head. Alright, so yours will be a little bit uh, better right in here because I'm using that big thick marker. 
And you know I always use them heat erasable pens to draw my lines on my board. All right. So, let me show you what you just did. And I'm going to put those uh, numbers on there for you. So, we just drew this. That's what we did. This, this is not hard. And actually, you know, you can make your butterf uh, butterfly. You can make your dragonfly. You can make them wider, skinnier, or whatever you want to do. But that seemed proportion to me. All right. Let, let me draw. Um, I'm going to do it in black. I'm going to put these numbers on here. And then I'll come back and show them to you. But take a screenshot of that if you want to. Without the numbers. Well, that one. Alright, I'll be right back. Okay, here you go. So, we came down four inches from the top. No, we came down six and a half over and six and a half down and made a tick mark. And this one, see it's six and a half, I drew that line six and a half from the top. This line is four inches here. And your box is four inches as well. So you know, we drew the line. You can go back and look at it again. We drew that line down through the middle. These were five inches each. And we marked off two inches and then connected these dots. And then in the middle, here's one inch. And then we, we went down one and up one. And then we connected that. All right, for here, on this side, you know, that's four inches. And we made a tick mark. We went in, well, down from the top, we went eight and a half inches and then went in one and a half. From the bottom, we came up ten and went in one. And then we went up from the bottom three and a quarter and went in two and a half. From this 16 inch line we drew down through here we came back up to nine and a half and made a tick mark what nine and a half right here sorry don't take a screenshot yet and then we connected that dot so we had our four pieces of this top wing and then from this 16 and a half inch we went down one, up two and a half, down two, and up two and a half, down four, and up four and a half. And then for this angle right here, we came back to here and went down nine and a half and put a tick mark. And then we just connected them and then connected them all to the center. And we've done the same thing over here. So... Enjoy painting this. I know y'all gonna love it. Especially you guys are real creative and you'll get different colors out of it than I did. So um, take you a screenshot of that and I hope you can print it off. I take a, even if you're on the, watching it on the TV, you could take a picture with your phone and print it off. But you can just take a screenshot if you're on your phone or, or um, iPad and print it off from there. And here is the one that I did. Take a screenshot of that too so you can have something to compare the numbers to. All right. Uh-oh, about forgot my colors, didn't I? People will be asking that. Let me show you them. Okay, for the black, I used tuxedo black. For the purple here, I used my favorite purple prints. 
and I'll show you about the bottles. Hang on. And for this dark teal, I used intense teal. And for the lighter color, I think that's a teal too, but it's just a lighter. I used Placid C. All right, and then for my yellow, I used English Daisy. That's one of my favorite yellows. All right, now for... Now, I didn't show you this, but just... I forgot to show you that part. That's a two-inch border, so when you're drawing your border, just go up two inches. And then that, you're going to have some extend past the border, the dragonfly, which, you know, I told you I like that. So that's just a plain two-inch border around there. And for that, I used ultra white. Because I didn't, I wanted it to, I wanted the colors of my dragonfly to show out. And white makes things pop sometimes, and black does too. But for the background here around my dragonfly, I used Mint Gala. And all these are bare, uh, not bare, they're either bare or Valspar exterior. Okay. The other day, my sister said that her daughter had something for me that belonged to Mama. She had found some quilt patterns and she thought that I'd like them. And I thought maybe, you know, they were just one or two patterns or something. I was tickled to death because they belonged to Mama. Well, when I got down there, there was a whole stack of them. Mama had uh, evidently been a part of a quilt club thingy that they sent her quilt patterns ever so often and she kept them. Well, she had them tied together with this yarn. I couldn't part with that yarn. Mama's been gone you know, 20, 21 years. And, uh, but anyway, I couldn't part with that thread, so I kept it. But as I was flipping through them, I was actually tearing into the cl the paper. So I, I knew that as I used it, and I will be using this for y'all, I knew I'd tear it up. So I put them, each one, in a, in a sheet protector. But, you know, there's the postage stamp basket and that was like uh, 1989 basket and bears daffodil basket I, I'm telling you I didn't count them but that crazy cat uh, but it's spider web there's uh, owls and wheels and oak leaves and uh, clam shells and golden wedding rings and oh just a whole bunch of them in here that um, I'm going to try to, you see that? Ain't that wonderful? And actually, you know, I'm not a quilter, cloth quilter. I don't know how to do that. But each one of them has got like a, a hard piece of plastic in it that if you needed a stencil, if it would be the right size, that would work. Or you can make you a stencil. I'm not going to cut these up. But, you know, I can get some hard plastic and make my own stencils that would go or go with these barn quilts. But anyway, I just thought that was just precious and I wouldn't take nothing for these. And um, I'm just I'm just glad that uh, I got them. You know, I'm glad that, that I have them and I'm going to be using them. Um, I've got that Kansas City Star book that's got some really old old patterns in it and I don't know how old these are some of them I recognize from a long long time ago but um but they're that they, she got them in 89 and 90 that's the dates that's on the back of these so <laughs> anyway I hope y'all enjoyed this and uh thanks for hanging in there with me I hope this didn't get too long um 
and the bottles, lolovefe.com, code Kathy10 to get 10% off of them. And just take a snapshot of that if you want to, and I will see you all in the next video. Happy painting!